Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 11th Flutter tutorial. I'm um, hoping we can wrap up classes today. Um, I'm not going to really cover enumerated types because it's it's kind of a little different, but uh, what we're going to cover today is mixins. Let me back up. When I say enumerated type is kind of different, it's, it's more or less used as a variable. Um, we will cover these in future tutorials, but right now we're going to really cover mixins. So what is a mixin and why do we need it? So it says mixins are a way of reusing a class's code in multiple class hierarchies. To use a mixin, use with use the with keyword followed by one or more mixin names, and then some examples. And I kind of wanted a better description. So a better description is in object-oriented programming languages, a mixin is a class that contains methods for use by other classes without having to be the parent of those other classes. So you kind of take inheritance as a fundamental hierarchy and you break that. And it's not really interfaces with abstraction. It's kind of like just saying, hey, I don't really want to use the whole class. I just want this little part of it, meaning I don't want to really inherit it and I don't want to have to be tied to it. It's kind of weird. So let's just uh, make our new project here. And this will calculate the sun, moon, and stars. There we go. Let's go out here. Hmm, did my music stop? I think my music stopped. Yep, I'm still listening, Pandora. Thank you for doing that, Pandora. All right, so back to what we're working on here. We are going to make a car. We make a concrete class, and we're going to say int doors. Make a getter for this. black car because why not black's awesome and we want to play music in our car and we're just gonna say music whatever um, so we've got uh, four doors it's a black car and we're just gonna play some music all right so pretty simple class not a whole lot to it now we're gonna make a truck I'm gonna make this concrete as well and we're gonna say bool has four by four because you need that with a truck especially here in Michigan Give this two door. We're gonna stay string color. Hmm. I want a. Hmm. What color truck do I want? Let's make it a red truck. Giant, big red monster truck. And we're gonna say void. I'll uh, honk the horn. Why not? So we've got a car class and we've got a truck class. Now let's say we want to make a hybrid of those. We want a Jeep. Actually, let's call it an SUV. I owned a Jeep for years and years. I loved it. So uh, in this, we're going to import the car class and we're going to import the truck class. We're going to make another concrete class called SUV and we're going to extend the truck but this time we're going to say with the car 
What the heck? What's that mean? All right, so let's see what we got going on here. Color is inherited as a getter and also as a method. Ooh, I screwed something up here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, there's color. Oh, yeah, that's why. There we go. Fix that problem. All right, so our SUV here. Extends truck with car. Hmm. What does that mean? Well, that's interesting. Let's find out. In here, we're going to import the SUV. We're going to say SUV Jeep equal new SUV. And let's just examine this object and see what we got going on here. You can see how we have colors, doors, 4x4, four four, it has a bed, it honks the horn, plays the music, it does all the things that we want it to do. So we can actually say, you know, uh, honk the horn, jeep.play the music, and let's say we want to print the number of doors, and we want to print the color. Let's see what happens here. So we honk the horn, we play the music, we have four doors and it's black. Hmm. Well, where did it get four and black from? That's interesting. Well, if we look at this, you can see we're extending the truck with the car. So if we look at the car, the car has four doors and it's black. So that's where it's getting that from. If we flip those around, you guessed it. We're extending a car with the truck it will now have different properties. It'll now have two doors in red. So that's really how a mix and works. You can kind of piecemeal classes together and use the parts that you want without really having to mess around too much with interfaces and inheritance and abstraction. Um, it's kind of a, I'm not a big fan of it to be brutally honest with you, uh, because as you can see, if you do things in a specific way, you can change the outcome of what you expect. Like when flip this back to truck and flip this back to car and then bang um, so you know it, you really get some unexpected results sometime now some would argue well you know what are you know what results to expect because of you know the way you're ordering things and all that um, let's just for giggles here I'm actually just going to try this. Let's say, hmm, I have no idea what to call this, industrial. We're going to make an industrial vehicle. And we literally are just going to copy this car class here. And we're going to say this is, um, what haven't we used? Blue. And we're going to give this like 900 doors. And of course, there's no way to play music in this thing. Let's go back to our SUV. Whoops. It's funny, I always get this viewer feedback where everybody's like, we actually like watching you make mistakes. We learn from your mistakes. I'm like, ah, oh, you guys are so mean to me. So now we're extending the truck with the car and the industrial equipment. Let's see what this does here. We'll run this. Suddenly it's got 900 doors and it's blue. So the problem here is that um, it's picking up the last one. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually a standard or if it depends on what sort of uh, just-in-time compilation you go through. So if you get a different vendor's uh, just-in-time compiler, it may take the first one and not the last one. So now you've got to actually account for those and make, you know, functions that do that. You should actually say string color equal. I have no idea what to make my Jeep here. Hmm. Lime green. It's like the ugliest color on the planet. And then you should actually say int doors equal and we want three doors just because why not 
we'll say it's an old Jeep and one door is messed up, now suddenly we have the way we want it. But you can get some just kind of crazy, unpredictable results with mix-ins. Um, it's not bad to use them. I don't want to deter you from it. It is an option. Uh, a lot of older programmers will stay away from them uh, simply because they like the structure that inheritance gives or um, you know, they want to know what an interface is. Uh, or I'm sorry, they want to know that they have everything that's in the interface that you're providing because an interface is a contract. Whereas a mix ins it's just kind of, you know, wild west. You just do what you want. So I hope you found this educational and somewhat entertaining. We're going to continue on with Dart. I'm trying to plow through these fairly quickly because I really want to get into Flutter. Um, I really think that Flutter is going to take off in the next year or two, and I think it's going to be a major competitor with the other languages out there, especially things like React Native. So if you found this even remotely helpful, go ahead and visit my website and go to tutorials, and you can download the source code for this and other tutorials. Um, click on contact and go out to the Void Realms Facebook group. There are 1,700 other programmers out there. And in case you're wondering, all of the website and everything is funded 100% by your donations. When you look at my dashboard, estimated revenue is zero dollars. I do not have monetization on any of my videos. So if this helped you guys, especially if you're running a business and you're training your people, uh, feel free to donate and help others.